So the Le Mans entry list has been revealed and there's a total of 62 cars that will race on La South on the 10th of June. And although the entry list is very much like the WEC full season list, there is a few changes. So let's get right to it. Cadillac, who only entered one car into the full season, will enter another car into the Le Mans race. This was of course expected as they had announced their plans earlier, but there will also be a third Cadillac run by Action Express Racing, which is cool. So yeah, three Cadillacs will be racing at Le Mans. Floyd Van Wall Racing Team has entered just one car, same as their WEC entry. They had intentions of racing two at Le Mans, but I guess they were not able to enter a second car for whatever reason. Next we have Porsche, and there will be three factory Porsche 963 entered. This was also expected, as Porsche had announced that they would run an additional car at Le Mans. And we also have Jota running a Porsche 963 as well, so there will be a total of four Porsches running at Le Mans. Then, of course, we have the two Toyotas, which recently had some serious upgrades for their GR010 car. But yeah, these have both been registered for the full WEC season, so no surprise that they will both be running the Le Mans. Ferrari will run two of their 499Ps, the same two that will be running the full WEC season. And I'm really looking forward to seeing these on track. They just look spectacular. We of course also have Peugeot with their two 9x8s. Again, these are both registered for the full WEC season. So this was expected as well. But it will be interesting to see how the wingless car does around La South. And last but not least, we have Glickenhaus, who I spoke about in my last video. They only have one car in the full WEC season but will field both of their cars at Le Mans. This again was expected as Glickenhaus has announced this previously. But yeah, it will be good to see both cars. I wish we could have had both of them for the entire season, but I guess that would be too costly. So that's the hypercar class. I'm not going through the rest of the classes as I barely know anything about them. But there will be a total of 24 cars in the LMP2 class, of which 8 will be Pro-Am entries. And in the last Le Mans for the GTE cars, there will be a total of 21 cars, 8 Porsches, 7 Ferraris, 5 Aston Martins and 1 Corvette will make up the GTE grid. And that makes 61 cars, which means one is missing, and that's because the last car marks the return of Garage 56. And if you're not familiar with Garage 56, it's an entry that is all about innovation and does not follow the normal regulation of the WEC. And this year it will be a Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, which is a modified version of the next-gen NASCAR that competed in the 2022 Cup Series. What's innovative about the car? I have no idea. But yeah, it's good to see Garage 56 back. And there we have it, 62 cars on the grid for Le Mans. Most of them expected as most teams had announced their intentions to field extra cars for Le Mans back when the WEC entry list was revealed. But yeah, the 24 hours of Le Mans will go from 10th to 11th of June. And as always, I will be living in front of the TV when it goes on. And I'm very much looking forward to it. But what are your thoughts on the entry list? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please click the like button. If you didn't, then feel free to dislike it. And if you want to see more of my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.